Juventus legend Alessandro Del Piero warned Atletico Madrid on Wednesday that his old club had a new game plan that, almost always delivers excellent results in the Champions League, it's called County Route 7, certainly, Cristiano Ronaldo repeatedly proved decisive for Real Madrid in Europe, he scored 50 times in the knockout stage alone for the Blancos. Hardly surprising, then, that a giddy Italian press expected the five-time Ballon d'Or winner to almost single-handedly win the tournament for new club Juve. On the morning of Wednesday's last 16 first leg against Atletico Madrid, the Gazzetta dello Sport even demanded, Giant, you take care of it, he couldn't, though. Ronaldo may have stood tall on his return to the Spanish capital, but even he could do nothing about a dreadfully defensive tactical approach that, predictably, resulted in a dire performance and an even worse result. It wasn't for the want of trying, with the 34-year-old very nearly opening the scoring inside eight minutes with a thumping free kick that Yano blocked it well to palm over the bar. Ultimately, though, the Portuguese proved powerless to prevent Juventus from slumping to a 2-0 defeat at a vibrant Wanda Metropolitano that leaves the old lady staring elimination in the face. We should haven't been surprised either. Ronaldo has scored a staggering 22 goals in just 31 games against Atletico but those numbers are somewhat misleading. He has endured nearly as many frustrating meetings with the Roja Blancos as he has fruitful. Indeed, he had failed to score in four of his previous five Champions League games against Atleti. Make that five of the past six now. Ronaldo was not to blame at all for Juve's loss, though. He took the fight to Atleti right until the end but he was let down by Mario Mandzukic and Paolo Dybala going missing in attack, a midfield devoid of creativity, with Mira Lampjanic painfully ineffective, and an unusually sloppy defense. This was, rather, a collective, failing, with Juve enjoying plenty of possession but demonstrating next to no penetration or urgency in their play. By contrast, Atletico saw little of the ball for long periods during the first half but always carried the greater attacking threat. They were by far the more dangerous side during a second period that Juventus coach Massimiliano Allegri correctly described as ugly, for his side. Diego Costa fluffed a one-on-one, -on -one, Antoine Griezmann hit the bar and Alvaro Morata had a header harshly ruled out by VAR for a slight push on Giorgio Chiellini, all before Jose Jimenez deservedly broke the deadlock by pouncing on a loose ball in the area. Sensing blood, Diego Simeone's snarling side then doubled their advantage through their other Uruguayan center half, with Diego Godin firing home after Juve had once again failed to deal with a cross. We knew they were very dangerous from set pieces and we had to be more focused in those situations, Chiellini lamented afterwards. Juve appealed to VAR to save them again after both goals but their luck had run out. They then looked to Ronaldo to bail them out but, as he desperately extended himself to reach a deep cross to the far post in the dying seconds, he could only dive or his header over the bar. Having Cristiano is an advantage, Allegri said of Juve's Champions League hopes beforehand, but it's not enough, it certainly wasn't here in Madrid. And it won't be in Turin in three weeks' time either unless Allegri and Juve come up with a proper game plan. Relying solely on County Route 7 is no longer an option.